I bet that 99% of the viewers watching this video will not be able to solve this Harvard entrance exam question. It is the most asked question, and you will definitely learn a lot. The question is 2 raised to x plus x equals 5. At first glance, it might seem a very easy question, but it is not. So, can you solve it? First use x equals 1. So we get 2 to the 1 plus 1 equals 3, which is less than 5. Now use x equals 2, which gives us 2 to the 2 plus 2 equals 6, which is greater than 5. If we plot this function 2 to the x plus x, we get this, and as you can see, it is an increasing function, that is, the value of this function increases as x increases. So, this means that our answer will lie somewhere in between 1 and 2. Okay, now to solve it algebraically, take x on the right-hand side to get 2 to the x equals 5 minus x. Now multiply both sides by 2 raised to the power of minus x. This will get cancelled out and will become 1. And we are left with this. Change the order and write it in this form, minus x plus 5 times 2 to the minus x. Great. Now suppose we have a function of the form a times e to the power of a. And this a can be any expression. It doesn't matter what we write here. For example, we can write here 4 times e to the power 4. And now, if we apply a w function, which is called Lambert w function, on this expression, we get the result as a itself. So if we apply this w function here, the result will be, yeah, you guessed it right, it will be 4. Amazing. So now let us try to use this w function here on the left side. For that, we will try to create the same power here. For that, multiply both sides by 2 to the power 5. Using this power rule, we get minus x plus 5 times 2 to the minus x plus 5 equals, and this will become 32. So you can see that we are getting the same type of expression. Now, we just have to bring e in here, and then we can use the w function. Okay, for that, we know e raised to log of 2 equals 2 itself. Some people call it ln, and some call it log. We can use whatever we want. We just mean it to be a natural logarithm. So this will become minus x plus 5 times e raised to log 2 whole, raised to minus x plus 5 equals 32. Again, using this power rule, this becomes minus x plus 5 times e raised to log 2 times minus x plus 5 equals 32. Now, multiply both sides by log 2 to get log 2 times minus x plus 5 times e raised to log 2 times minus x plus 5 equals 32 log 2. Oh, look at this expression. Both of these are the same. So now we can use the w function on both sides to get w of this equals w of 32 log 2. Now, don't get scared by this expression. 32 log 2 is a constant, therefore w of 32 log 2 is also a constant and nothing else. So now this whole left side will be log 2 times minus x plus 5 equals this. So minus x plus 5 equals w of 32 log 2 divided by log 2. So, x equals 5 minus w of 32 log 2 divided by log 2, and we are done. You can either leave this expression like this, or we can also find its approximate value, which turns out to be 1.716, and that's it. So now let us verify this by putting it in an online calculator, and look, we got the same results. Isn't this cool? Okay, before we go, let me ask you a similar question so that you can practice this type of problem. Find the value of x if 3 raised to x plus 2x equals 8. Were you able to solve it? Let me know your answer in the comments. So good!